Hi friends, welcome to Carrie's Culinary Crafts. And if you're new, welcome. Uh, here on Carrie's Culinary Crafts, we talk all things food. And today I have a grocery haul for you. Um, I haven't had a grocery haul pretty much since the very beginning of the summer. I pretty much relied on produce and things that I got from the garden. And the hauls that I got from the grocery store were, were very small, uh, just like milk, eggs, uh, anything like that that I needed fruit because uh, I can't grow fruit where I am so um, but today is my first like real grocery haul since after the uh, prime summer season and this grocery haul was just under a hundred and fifty dollars it was like a hundred hundred and forty nine dollars and some change so I am gonna go ahead and flip you around and show you what I got for my first grocery haul after the summer months. Okay, and here is a quick overview of the items that I got in this first haul. And you are gonna see a bunch of convenience items because at this point I still need them in my life. So I am relying on some convenience items instead of having to make uh, homemade. So, and you will see that as we go through uh, the grocery haul here. Uh, first item I got, uh, we are out of freezer pops. So I went ahead and replaced those. They are a favorite of my granddaughter and my sons enjoy them. I actually like to have them like mid-afternoon when it's really hot and I want a little something and it's not quite dinner time, a nice freezer pop will do the trick. Um, and I have some snack items here. I got three packs of these veggie straws, all different flavors. One is a screaming hot flavor, one's a sour cream and onion, and the zesty ranch. And I got two, um, two more bags of Tostitos for nachos and taco salads and things like that. So we always need those. I got some um, energy drinks for my son. This is his coffee. He is back in school. He started school this week. So I need to make sure that I keep those on hand for him. Uh, and I went ahead and got uh, two more of these country crocs. I always keep one of these big ones on hand. Uh, these are nice and spreadable in case I don't have any of my um, garlic or butter out and softened. I still like to keep in the refrigerator some uh, spreadable butter. And this lasts a really, really long time in the refrigerator. And I stick it in the back of the fridge where it keeps it like super super cold and i got another little one of these because on my last one uh, my lid broke and i usually just keep these for a while and i'll refill this into this and when this gets emptied then i just put it through the dishwasher and keep reusing it until something happens and usually it's like the lid splits or something and then I need to replace it. So I'll just keep that on hand. Um, I got a small whipping cream um, for recipes and I got a crema. I uh, like to get this every once in a while for, um, cause we have Mexican all the time and I don't always keep this on hand, but every once in a while I do like to get it. And this is like a replacement for sour cream. Um, and here I got two already peeled, uh, garlic. Um, I am still having serious issues with my hands. There's no way I can peel garlic. And the last time, I believe I did a video, my son peeled all the garlic that we got from the garden, I believe. Can't recall, did we plant garden or plant garlic this past year? I just remember him, he did it for me. He peeled a whole bunch of garlic that we had and then I made them into garlic pucks and those are getting low. So I figured I would start going ahead and getting some 
uh, garlic and I went this route so I don't have to worry about peeling it. And I'm gonna do these two different ways to preserve it longer. Um, it lasts a little bit in the fridge, but not very long. Um, so I'm going to pickle one of these bags and then I'm gonna put the other one in some um, flavored olive oil and I will keep them in the fridge and that will preserve them for a very, very long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that with those. So um, just stay tuned for a video whenever I do that. I got a few, can, um, my granddaughter is coming this week. So I got a few of these snack items. Um, I always keep goldfish and pretzels, little pretzels on hand. Uh, that she really likes, but I thought that I would get her some of these, which I think she'll really like. These have like apple slices and some grapes and some cheese cubes in them. She'll absolutely love that. And then they also had these, uh, these like Disney ones, and these have the cheese cubes and the little pretzels on them and um, some apple slices. So she'll really enjoy those. She'll think those are, are awesome, I'm sure, and eat them all up. And this is one of the things that I totally ran out of. Um, I haven't been making homemade ranch uh, just because the mixing is hard on me, and I ran out of our stocked ranch dressing. So you guys know when I stock something up in the pantry, I usually do it by the dozen, and sometimes I'll buy six at a time. But this time I went ahead and bought the, um, bought my max. I bought 12 of these. So these will go in the pantry. Um, like I said, I haven't been making homemade ranch uh, very much because of the mixing with my hands. And I've been relying on the convenience of ranch dressing because my son goes through ranch like there's no tomorrow. So stocked up good on that. Now going into the fresh produce, um, I have some grapes here, uh, green seedless grapes. I have some raspberries, always have these on hand when my granddaughter comes. She will literally eat this entire container. She absolutely loves raspberries. So I got a container of that. I got four plums. I absolutely love plums and I have been really enjoying getting them. That was one fruit that I continuously got over the summer with the dairy um, and I've been really enjoying having the plums. I got some lemons and limes. These are for our waters and for cooking and uh, limes are for guacamole if I make guacamole. And I got a little zucchini. Can you believe it? I, <laughs> our second planting of zucchini has not um, uh, produced any zucchinis yet because we had just planted them like two weeks ago. But we'll be getting some more zucchinis pretty soon. But for this week, I went ahead and bought a little zucchini so I can uh, cook that up. I absolutely love sautéed zucchini or um, roasted zucchini with roasted vegetables. But um, yes, I love zucchini as a vegetable. And I got one of these uh, coleslaw mixes, again, to help me out so I don't have to cut up cabbage. Uh, cutting up things are very, very difficult for me with my hands. Um, so I went ahead and got this coleslaw and you know what, I'm just not going to feel bad about these things anymore because, um, you know, those of you that have been following me for a while, I've been having issues with my hands for almost two years now, uh, where it got to the point that it affects me using them and chopping and stirring and kneading and those things are just very difficult for me. So I've just come to the conclusion, I'm not gonna be upset about it. I am going to take, cut corners wherever I can. And this is a big, big thing for me, uh, not having to cut up all that cabbage and carrots and stuff like that. I got some colored baby 
um, carrots. Love to roast these, you know, with the, some onions and some zucchini and the, the, these new potatoes, these nice little potatoes. Love to roast those as veggie, as side veggies uh, with dinner. And here I got some shredded carrots. I love to put the shredded carrots in salads and another shortcut because I'm not going to sit there and cut up carrots. So shredded carrots it is. I got some more eggs because we always need eggs. And then two other fruits that I got. Um, it's still, you know, the end of the summer. So I am using watermelons and cantaloupes as much as I can uh, before they kind of uh, disappear and start to have no flavor. So I am using, getting the fruits while I can, you know, going into these fall and winter months, we're not going to have as delicious uh, fruits available to us. So watermelon and cantaloupe. And that is my first grocery haul since the beginning of the summer. Okay, friends, and that is all that I have for you today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and make sure you give me a thumbs up if you did. Really helps my channel out. And if you would really like to help me out, uh, hit that join button down below. And that just helps me be able to make out more videos for you guys. Uh, those of you that have been following me for a while, you may have noticed that I cut down my videos again to uh, once a week. And really just a quick thing on that. I know that I've had some followers very from the beginning and I appreciate all of you. I appreciate those of you that comment below. It is very nice to talk to some of you guys. I have decided to go ahead and cut down my videos to one a week um, just to give myself a little bit of a break. Um, for those of you that don't really know how YouTube works, people that create channels, you don't like just create them and you get paid or, or things like that from YouTube. It does not work that way. I have been on YouTube for almost two years. And in that two years, I got one check for $100. Realizing how much time and effort that gets put into doing these videos, I don't think a lot of people realize what all goes into it. I pretty much have, you know, like 30 to 40 hours of footage that pretty much takes me all week to do and then I have to go ahead and edit it because all of these videos you know I try to do under an hour some of my tutorials are closer to an hour some of these grocery hauls are definitely you know shorter than that it's a lot of work to get all that footage and then go ahead and edit it down and basically it is a full-time job and when I first started, I used to do, you know, short videos every day. And then I went to three times a week. Then I've been at two times a week for, I guess, maybe the past eight months since the beginning of the year. But now I'm going to go ahead and do um, one video a week for now, just to give myself some more time instead of spending 40 plus hours a week getting footage and condensing down into a video for you guys. And then the only way producing videos does not get, you know, does not get a person paid that is on YouTube. What gets, there are three things that get people paid. There's sponsorships, which I don't do sponsorships. Um, there are uh, the people, if you watch the ads, um, that is how most people get paid. And so when you like hit that skip ad button, then that stops any, you know, revenue inflow that would come to me. So if you watch the ads, that definitely helps me out. And the third thing is, is if you would hit that join button down below, that would provide a small amount that would possibly come to me. Um, so those are the three major things that 
bring in any type of revenue for for YouTube. I started this YouTube channel. It had nothing to do with the revenue inflow. I do this channel because I enjoy teaching people about food and how easy it is to food on the table and it does not have to be difficult does not have to be a long hard process and does not have to be expensive you work within your budget whatever you have for your family you purchase what you can afford to put food on the table the important thing is putting food on the table feeding your family, or even if you're just alone, you wanna feed yourself good, nutritious meals. Don't think of it as, oh, I'm not gonna cook for myself. Why not? You are important. Make sure you get some good quality food inside your body. And that is why I started this YouTube channel is because I very much enjoy food, all kinds of food from all over the world, all different kinds of food. I'll try anything multiple times. If I don't like it, I don't like it, but that does not mean I'm still not going to try it again and again. Tastes change, or you might find a recipe that you really enjoy it in. So I just wanted to give, <laughs> so without a little bit of rambling, I just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of background on YouTube and kind of explain that I why I'm going down to one time a week just because I wanted to lessen my load. I'm having a harder time with my hands does not mean I'm does not mean I'm going to stop providing content for you guys because I love you guys and I'm going to continue doing all this stuff as long as I possibly can. I'm going to be canning. I'm going to be cooking. I'm going to, you know, I have family, so I need to provide food for them. So I will continue to be cooking for them. You might see more convenience items than what is normally in my routine of meals, but you know, it is what it is. And I just finally just told myself, I'm not going to feel bad about it. You know, I'm, I'm going to do what I got to do. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. And if you guys would like to have a chat, make sure you comment down below. I love talking with you guys. And you guys have a lot of really good ideas. And I'd like you to share them down below for other people that would also enjoy them. And I will see you in the next video. Bye friends.